Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. In this video, we're going to commit all our changes to the GitHub repository. So let's begin. Before that, in the previous video, we have added the Google fonts to the Angular application and we have added the Roboto Mono font to the body element. Okay, so let's change that to H1 tag. I don't want apply the font to the entire body tag. So I'll change it to H1 tag. Okay let's save this okay so now let's commit all these changes changes to the github repository so let's open the eclipse id and if you open the github git repositories and we have this online bookstore if you expand this and if you go to the working tree we have this angular bookstore and online bookstore okay and one more thing if you go to the visual studio code and if you look at the project structure uh, inside the project we have a folder called node modules i don't want this node modules to be committed to the github repository because that will take a uh, so much of time to commit because the node modules itself will be contain around 100 to 200 mb okay but you can always download the node modules by executing the npm install so i don't want to commit the node modules to the github repository so what i'll do is just like how we have done to the uh, Spring Boot application, we have ignored the target folder. I will do the same thing for the Angular application. Let's open the .gitignore file and I'm going to specify the Angular project path, which is slash, if you go to the Visual Studio code or you can always go to the repositories and you can see we have this angular minus bookstore okay let's specify this angular minus bookstore slash node modules slash okay so now the git ignore file will ignore the node modules and its sub folders while committing the changes to the github repositories okay make sure to cross verify the project name angular minus bookstore angular minus bookstore okay so now let's save this and go to the git repositories right click click on this commit that will take you to the unstaged changes so select all and drag and drop it here okay so now you can see there is no node modules inside the staged changes okay so let's add a commit message created angular project and completed the feature one okay so let's click on this commit and push This will take a few seconds to commit the changes. As you can see, push it to online bookstore origin. All right. So from next onwards, I'm not going to show you how to commit all the changes to the GitHub repository. Okay. Since this is, we are doing it for the first time. I have recorded this. Okay. From next, next time onwards, I will not do all these things. Okay. Every time I create a video, I will be committing all the changes to the github repository my github repository will be always updated you can take the latest code whenever you want that's it for this video and uh, finally we come to the end of the feature one so we have completed the feature one we have learned so much of things in the feature one like we have created an angular project and we have created a spring boot backend application and also we have connected the spring boot application to the mysql database and we have learned how to create a repositories how to customize the repository rest endpoints and even how to expose the ids to the rest endpoints like in the json data and also we have learned about the observables subscribers and we also learned how to make a http call to the rest endpoint okay so we have learned a lot of things in the feature one we have spent a very good amount in the feature one 
so in the future too we will be concentrating on the uh, designing part okay we will integrate the shopping cart template to the existing application and we will add a bootstrap support to the application we will learn a lot of things in the feature 2 as well so i will start creating the feature 2 videos soon so once i have done with the feature 2 videos i will upload all the videos to the youtube in one shot so you can watch the videos in without any distractions okay so that is coming up in the next couple of days so thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you are looking for a source code you can always head over to my github repository you can download the source code and i request you to share our videos with all of all of your friends and families and colleagues whoever wants to learn the full stack development and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video